Man United board have Ed Woodward plan as they take bold Frankie de Jong transfer approach. Manchester United are reportedly aware of their stained reputation in the transfer market during Ed Woodward's time in charge. The Red Devils are currently pushing to land Frankie de Jong this summer, with the fallen Premier League giants in talks with Barcelona for weeks. However, there's still no guarantee the 25-year-old will end up swapping the new camp for Old Trafford this summer, with the saga dragging on. Manchester United boss Eric Ten Hag is eager for a deal for De Jong to be concluded as quickly as possible. But, amid the Red Devils' pursuit, The Telegraph have provided more details on the saga. It stated that United want to shed their reputation for overspending on players, and, while Woodward's name isn't specifically mentioned, it's clear club insiders are referring to his reign. Richard Arnold certainly was when he sat down with United supporters at a pub on Saturday, with the 51-year-old firing shots at his predecessor. Under Woodward, United spent over pounds one billion. Some of his recruits were hits, such as Bruno Fernandes, Zlatan Ibrahimovic and Luke Shaw, while the likes of Paul Pogba, Alexis Sanchez and Angel Di Maria, all toiled. Eric Ten Hag. What De Jong was told about Man United transfer Arnold was filmed criticizing United's recent transfer business, with the Red Devils Supremo saying. We spent a billion pounds on players. We have spent more than anyone in Europe. I'm not thrilled where we are. It doesn't sit easy with me, and I worry how we get this sorted for the future. What's happened is we have expletive burned through cash. You can't go to our training ground and say show me where the pounds one billion is is because we haven't spent money well historically. I'm not here to defend, Chairman, Joel, Glazer. He must speak for himself. But you have taken the time to come here and make your views known, and I respect that. We've blown through an enormous amount of money. For this summer, the money the manager and the director of football, John Murto, wants is there. Don't miss Anthony comments suggest Ten Hag reunion at Man United, is possible Man United have five players who can be amazing under Ten Hag Pau Torres breaks silence on future, amid Man United links for the future, for investing in a new stadium, and a latest and greatest training ground, we've got to do something. We've got to get investors in. I need that to do what I want for the club. I've got to have more cash now because no club in the world has the money to build a new stadium. You either borrow it or invest it. The money has got to come from somewhere. You might not like our current owners I can't help that. But if you want someone else to come in they will see that the fans love the team and that is positive. But last year was a expletive nightmare. There was hate at every game. It was bold of Arnold to sit down with United fans. Especially given how much anger surrounds the club at present, something the 51-year-old appears to be well aware of. Man United fixtures. When Eric Ten Hag's team face every Premier League team at present, United are pushing to land Frankie de Jong. But while he's a priority transfer target for Eric Ten Hag, the Red Devils are adamant they won't let Barcelona hold them to ransom. They have alternatives up their sleeve in case they miss out, though Christian Eriksen is wanted regardless of what happens. Paul Robinson, meanwhile, recently expressed a belief that both De Jong and Ajax's Anthony would be shrewd signings for United to make. They are two very good players, said the goalkeeper, who turned out for Tottenham and Leeds during his playing days. I watched a lot of Anthony in the Eredivisie this year. I was really impressed by him. Want the latest football news? Join our brand new Facebook group by clicking here. He is a player that the manager obviously knows very well. He is direct, can score goal and can create. In terms of De Jong, another good player that the manager knows extremely well. This is part of a big rebuild at United. They are the first pieces of the jigsaw. They have got it so badly wrong for so long. Eric Ten Hag is there now and they have to give him control. They have to let him do what he thinks is right. He needs the resources and time to get United back to where they should be.